Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Charlie and today I will be showing you all how to boot your Macintosh Classic off of its built-in ROM. Now, if you're an owner of vintage Mac machines in general, you'll know that one very difficult thing to get done is actually booting machines up. Now, you have several different options for booting a computer up. You could use the original hard drive that came in the computer, which is most likely dead nowadays because of how unreliable you, they are. Or, you could use a floppy drive, or just floppy boot disk. However, these are very difficult to make for most people, and they are also very annoying because of the endless disk swapping. You could also go with a more modern solid-state drive, like a SCSI 2SD or floppy emulator. But, in, in my opinion, these things are too expensive, and most people that I know who collect vintage Macs definitely cannot afford anything like this, as they go for $70 to $150 depending on the model. So today, I will be showing you the best way to boot your vintage Mac. Now as far as I know, the only computer that is capable of doing this is the Macintosh Classic. I have tried this on my Macintosh LC, which was released alongside the Macintosh Classic as a more expensive option, but it doesn't work. Now here's how you actually do it. Turn on your computer and hold down the Command, Option, and XO keys at startup. The ROM disk is called Boot Disk and is 357 kilobytes in size. It should boot up immediately as you press the keys, and if it doesn't work, try again, or try a PRAM reset. As I've seen on certain forums, it may not work. Once the computer is booted, the ROM disk should mount to the desktop. Now, what can you actually do with this thing? Well, as I said before, the boot disk is extremely limited. It's only 327 kilobytes in size and only has the bare minimum of features to be able to boot. And unfortunately, this isn't really a good place to store anything as you only have one kilobyte of space left. However, this is still a basic version of System 6.0.3, so, so you are able to do things, however, all the storage must be done on floppy disks, and all your software must be loaded from disks. And you only have Chooser and Control Panel. Chooser only, is only functional with Apple Share, as there's no space for any printer drivers whatsoever, so you won't be doing any printing here. And you also have a control panel, but it just has minimal features. For example, you have desktop pattern, you got brightness, you got startup disk, that's about it. However, one major upside this boot disk has is that it isn't a physical disk, so you won't have to do any of that annoying disk swapping from before. You can just load your program up via disk, and you should be good to go without any annoying disk swaps, and should take a lot less time than normal. So that is how you boot a Macintosh Classic from its built-in ROM. Now obviously this is a lot easier than getting a hard drive or, get, or using a floppy drive or using a solid state drive. However, this is more of a temporary solution than a permanent solution, and I do not recommend this as a everyday thing. However, it is very useful if you do want to use your computer in the time that it takes to acquire anything else, but I do think it's a pretty cool feature, so if you're interested in trying out, go ahead. And as I said before, this only works on the Macintosh Classic as far as I know, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're interested in this content, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good day, and goodbye.